All right, so we've got a fun fight here. So Tiago Moises versus Islam Makachev. So both these guys on good winning streaks. Tiago Moises, three. Doesn't really compare to the seven-fight win streak of Islam Makachev, but both these guys, you know, they're in form. Break down the strike into these two. So for Makachev, he's, uh, he's basic on the feet, but he's serviceable. You know, it's nothing to write home about, but, you know, he does what he needs to do. It's generally a means to an end to set up his takedowns. He's much less reckless on the feet now that, uh, well, after the KO from Adriano Martins, you know, he's much less reckless, much more defensively sound. Uh, he comes in as a southpaw. He's mostly looking to land that straight too, which is a lot of the time used to set up his double leg entry. And for Thiago Moises, you know, he's going to be looking for that counter straight right as he did against Alexander Hernandez. You know, that was the money maker in that fight. Uh, but, you know, he does take a big step back. If you're just going to feint him and, you know, just kind of see what he's going to offer you, when he takes a big step back, he's going to look for that big, you know, right straight. So that's kind of a tell there. I'm expecting Makashev to, you know, kind of draw that out and then look for the double leg underneath there. Uh, but Tiago Moises, you know, he tries to walk you onto that right hand and he does load up on all of his punches, basically. He has nice kicks as well. Uh, a lot of snap behind him, you know. He's a very powerful guy, you know, puts... Puts a lot of snap behind a lot of his, uh, all of his strikes, basically. Nice low calf kicks, nice high kicks for southpaws, which will be open here. Every time Alexander Hernandez switched southpaw, he would hit him with a high kick. And I think he's going to look for the same thing here, because when you throw a high kick versus a grappler, they kind of have to defend it. Like, they just kind of have to block it, get their guard up. They can't really shoot underneath a high kick. And for Makashev, he, he likes to lean back to avoid strikes, so... If you time that high kick, or if you throw a jab and then finish the combination with a high kick, and you time the high kick, you know, perfectly, you might be able to catch him as he's leaning back, because he's going to be leaning back once you throw out the jab, so, you know, it's just a combination that could work here, uh, but for Moises, you know, he can be easily pressured onto the fence, you watch a lot of his fights, basically, he likes to just skirt the fence, backs up, tries to walk you onto his shots, backs up in a straight line, and... That leaves him on the fence for a lot of, for, you know, the majority of the fight. Uh, and that's going to open up the grappling of Islam Makashev. Makashev likes to pressure his opponent, cut the cage off as well, and then wait for the opponent to square their stance, and then he'll shoot for a takedown. And he's very good at timing that, that, that millisecond where they do square their stance, uh, because he's very good at setting it up. And uh, in the open, you know, he'll go for single legs, bunch of single leg variations he'll run the pipe lift the leg up trip the back leg you know what have you bunch of uh, single leg finishes also nice foot sweep in the clinch you know very good very slick takedowns in the clinch and when he does get on top he likes to triangulate the legs to take away the posts of his opponent uh, similar to what Khabib used to do you know when he would uh, triangle the legs and then you know you can't it's hard to get up because you, you either have to give your back or yeah, <laughs> you have to, yeah, or you have to have very good flexibility and very good agility in your hips. Uh, but yeah, he likes the armbar from mount. He looks to, you know, get to the mount, go for an armbar, looks to take the back, look for an armbar from there. Uh, he likes the armbar. Islam, he does leave a bit of uh, space when he, well, between his head and the opponent's body when he is attempting a head on the outside single leg. So that could potentially get him in trouble here. Uh, Moises, he does like to jump guillotine quite a bit to defend the double leg. I uh, haven't seen him attack this guillotine on a single leg before, but he, he's probably done it in the past, and he'll probably do it in this fight. But, um, you know, Islam does need to... He does need to watch out for that, because he does leave a bit of space when he is attempting that single leg. Uh, but, yeah, Moises, you know, you, you can't really rest when you've got Moises off his back. He's always attacking an arm bar off bottom. He's very quick to get the hips up and you know, attack that armbar triangles, you know, you can't really settle when you're on top of Moises. How these guys win fights, so for um, Islam Makashev, uh, he's got good grappling cardio, he's got really good takedown defense, really good scrambles, and I think he's got the slickest takedown game in the UFC at the moment. And for Moises, he's got good Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. How these guys lose fights, so for Moises, it's the strike and tendencies, but uh, I think we covered him. Yeah, we covered him. Um, so yeah, pass to victory for these two, so for Moises, keep it on the feet, don't engage in the clinch at all, you know, you're just kind of setting yourself up to get tripped in the clinch, 
Uh, look for leg kicks. If he's not looking for takedowns, and I'll get into that in a sec, but if he's not looking for takedowns, uh, look to really kick the lead leg of Islam Makhachev. Uh, look for high kicks as well, as we said before. Uh, the reasonings for why high kicks would be effective here. Uh, I've already talked about it. And for Makachev, uh, take him down and get heavy in half guard and then look for ground and pound and just top control. How I see the fight going, so I, I favor Makachev, you know, uh, you kind of got to. Like, but is he going to wrestle like he didn't against Davi Hamosh? And uh, was that purely because he felt like he had an advantage on the feet? Uh, or was he fearful of the ground game of Davi Hamos? Like, I don't know. Uh, but I believe is, is, uh, Islam, he has a good enough top game to nullify the bottom game of Moises in the same way that Benil Dariush did. Also get off da uh, damage of his own, as Benil did as well. But I don't know if he's going to do that after that Davi Hamos performance. You know, I must say, Davi Hamos, much better Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner than Targa Moises and one of the best BJJ guys in the game today. But... So I understand the game plan in that fight. You know, even in that fight, when uh, Islam got him down, he controlled him in the last round easily and got off some damage as well. So it was probably just a one-off, and it was probably just against Davi Hamosh, like I understand that game plan. Uh, but, you know, if he decides to stand with Moises, I believe Moises has a solid edge on the feet. Like, he, he has the better striking. Uh, and it could get fairly competitive standing, but, you know, Moises is going to be landing the harder shots, the cleaner shots, he's going to be mixing it up with kicks as well. But Moises, he does load up on everything, and he plants his feet into the ground when he's trying to throw punches, so... It's just going to be level change city for Makachev, if he wants it. Also, Moises is quite predictable with the techniques that he's going to throw. Like, I mean, the majority of the time it's the counter two or the straight right that's being thrown from, uh, from Moises. So, Islam's going to get the read of that. He's going to try and draw out the, the counter two with feints and then look to level change. So I think he can really dominate if he does go to his wrestling here. Like, honestly, there are plenty of better fights for Islam in the rankings than this one. Uh, like, generally, the type of guys that he isn't going to look great against, uh, fights where he doesn't have a huge grappling advantage, which is only a handful. Uh, like, guys who are very good off their back, like Davi Hamosh, Carlos Diego Ferreira, Du Bronx, maybe even Moises to a lesser degree, but... I expect him to breeze past guys like Conor McGregor, Dan Hooker, Tony Ferguson, Justin Gaethje, Dustin Poirier. Like, I think he, you know, rolls those guys, but styles make fights. And all in all, though, I do think Islam does have the edge on the ground and will dominate from top position and just generally do what Islam Makachev generally does. The only way I see Islam losing this one uh, is either if he gets one punched or if he falls into a jump guillotine. Uh, which we talked about before, uh, or if he decides it to be a low-volume kickboxing match like he did in the Hamosh fight, I think he could potentially lose that one as well. I see Islam's career as a whole generally playing out a lot like Khabib's, minus the blemish on the record. Like, he got caught bad in that fight against Adriana Martins, but other than that, he's been perfect, like, such as Khabib has been. I think he's going to beat all comers, he's going to be spurned of a title shot until he's kind of undeniably the number one contender which is quite similar to Khabib's path and then he'll get the title and then he's going to hold it for a very long time uh so yeah I do think he's very good he's uh also I gotta say though like Charles Oliveira is going to be a tough matchup for him like Charles Oliveira I think it's 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 funny how it works matchups work and styles you know work because I think Dustin Poirier smashes uh, Charles Oliveira, but I think Islam Makachev smashes Dustin Poirier. So, you know, that's why MMA math, you can't really do it, but it, it's just really interesting. All right, you guys know the drill by now. You know, could you please like the video? That'd be awesome. Algorithm is everything, and that would help it out. All right, so the prediction is Makachev by decision. Uh, I think he wins around 85% of the time, so I think the line is correct. I'm not looking to parlay him though, although I do think the line is correct. I think, you know, maybe I'd bet Moises if he got to like $5.50 or plus 450 or something like that, but yeah, not really looking for that. Maybe Moises inside the distance at like $9 or plus 800 because as I said before, I think the way uh, Moises, um, fuck off, um, the way Moises does win is if he does find a finish. Uh, so yeah. Also, looking at Islam at $1.30, doesn't look like it's going to get to that price anytime soon, or minus 335 uh, But yeah, as a parlay piece, but it doesn't look like it's going to get there, so... 
yeah, probably just looking to watch this one. It's going to be some high-level MMA, so yeah, going to be a very interesting fight. 